Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be building an arbor that will hold three large porch swings. Now I'm building this with a friend. This was actually his design, his idea for this. So I'm going to be helping him out with this, but it turned out great and it was built really well. So I wanted to show you guys his idea. Now before we start digging the holes for the posts, we're going to lay it out first with spray paint on the ground, make sure everything's square and we know where to dig. Now we're going to be digging these holes th at least three and a half feet down and then 18 inches wide. Now this should give the structure plenty of stability and anchor it down to the ground. The only way that this should change is if you are in northern regions where the frost line goes below three and a half feet, that frost will end up pushing the posts up out of the ground and mess it all up if you don't go below that frost line. So just check and see where you're at, what that frost line depth is. Now we're gonna just make sure the bottom of the hole where we dug is tamped down so there's not gonna be any settling down into the ground once the structure is finished. So I'm just gonna tamp down the loose dirt and then we're gonna pour in about four inches of gravel down at the bottom. This helps the post not rot out as fast. It'll keep it away from most of the moisture down at the bottom and allows drainage for any water that gets down there. It'll settle down at the bottom away from the post. Now each post is going to be anchored into the ground with concrete, so we're going to start mixing up those bags now. Now each hole should take about 9 to 12 bags, depending on how deep you dig the hole and how wide it is. The whole structure is built out of 6x6 pressure treated lumber. This works really well. Now I have seen people build these out of 4x4s. I would not recommend that or even 4x6s. They don't quite have enough strength and over time those are going to break down a lot quicker. You're not going to have it for nearly as long. So if you want something to last and look really nice and rugged, definitely go with the 6x6s. Now we have one post set in place. We're gonna use that sort of as our guide post to make sure the other three are in the right place. We'll dig those holes and make sure the whole structure is square where it needs to be. We put a bag and a half of gravel in each hole that gave us the three to four inches of gravel that we're looking for at the bottom of the hole. For the other three posts, we're actually gonna wait on the concrete so we have all three of them set up plumb and square with that first post. So we're gonna put in a few braces to hold those posts in place until we're ready for the concrete. We have all the posts set, now we just need to cut them all off at the same height. This is on a little bit of a hill, so we're gonna need to run a string around the perimeter and make sure that string is level. That will show us exactly where we need to cut all the way around that square. Now this square is built by four posts and they're all eight feet apart. It's eight foot square. And then on top, we're gonna use some more six by sixes. We're cutting those at a 45 degree angle on each. Those will fit together perfectly and we'll connect all those four posts at the top.
Now you can see the structure is pretty much finished. We're just gonna add in 45 degree angle braces on each corner with six by sixes. And that's gonna make this look really nice and finish it off. Now on the top, we screwed this all together with a plate. You can see here there's five deck screws in each six by six, tying those two together. And then we have two lag bolts going down into that six by six post. And then on each side, we have two lag bolts going into the other top six by six, tying it all together. Now you can see here the lag screws we used were 10 inches to go through the six by six and give you about four inches on the other side to pull it together. That seemed to work really well. Now we're gonna start making the corner braces. To do this, we're gonna cut a 45 degree angle opposite of each other on each side of these, and I believe it's gonna be a foot and a half on the long side. And we're gonna need eight of these braces for the top corner on each of those posts. Now unless you have a massive circular saw, your saw is not going to cut all the way through a 6x6. So we actually have a hand saw here or a sawzall to cut through that last, I believe it's only like a half an inch left on those 6x6s that the circular saw doesn't cut. And we'll just finish that off with a sawzall or you could do it with a hand saw very easily. Again, we're gonna use the lag screws to attach those corner braces and you don't need the 10 inch. You can go down to eight, maybe even six if you're toenailing it in like we are. But we're gonna use two screws on the top and two on the bottom of each of these corner braces. This adds additional strength to the structure. It was already strong enough as it was. This makes it even stronger and makes it look really nice and finished off. Now that just about finishes up the video for today. I hope you guys found this one helpful. If you did, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe. Leave any comments or suggestions you have down in the comments and I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Now my friend also built the porch swings custom for this. They're a little bit deeper and wider than the typical porch swing, which makes it more like a swingy couch or sofa, which is really cool, fits really well with the structure and looks great. Now some of you might have noticed that the fire pits a little off-centered in the structure and a little close to some of the bench swings so if you're sitting there and the fire is going you might end up burning your legs or the swing now I've been told that that will likely be moved before they end up using it so don't worry about that at all all right guys thanks so much for watching as always I'll see you in the next one